Hello and welcome back to my craft room. It's time to have a go at the January 2022 Scrawler Challenge. Um, although it is actually the 1st of February today, I'm going to show you what I've got. So um, in the Scrawler box for January we got these um, Karin Pigment Deco Brush pens. I've got them, I think it said somewhere that you should store them horizontally so that's what I've tried to do. I've got my fancy Scrawler box pencil case. Here's the colours we've got. So there's an orangey, yellow, a brown and a red, warm colours. kind of wish I had a green or a blue. Um, but anyway, I might treat myself to them later. we also got a size 12 Pigma Micron pen. A really fat one. I've never tried, tried that one before. I got a, um, a hard pencil, which I haven't actually used because I prefer to sketch with, with a 2B and I just, yeah, I didn't actually use it. So I've cheated a bit because for the challenge you're only supposed to use what's in the box. Um, we also got this um, pad of smooth white paper. A5, 250 GSM. Um, I think we've got, we got 10 sheets. Yeah, 10 sheets. Um, I wanted a little bit more scope so I've actually taped two sheets onto my cutting board there to work on and what I did was I, I did this oh the um, the challenge was creature comforts there's another idea I want to try which someone suggested that it would be really good for like a woodland scene with toadstools and little uh, woodland creatures and leaves and things so I, I want to do that as well I might do that in the form of a wreath I really quite fancy doing that but what I wanted to have a go at first is some birds and um, I look at the birds out in my garden at this time of year and um, they look so cold poor little things so I thought right I'm gonna I'm gonna draw all the birds that we commonly see in our garden and I'm gonna give them little warm hats and things <laughs> creature comforts um, so probably I will have to draw the birds just with the black pen and then do the the hats and things all the accessories with the brush pens so first of all I did this little sketch with all all different um, birds that we commonly see in our garden um, so pigeon is like the most common one <laughs> I think this is meant to be a sparrow that's a seagull a uh, crow um, uh, that's a starling a blackbird a blue tit a robin and a magpie I've had to write on here where it's black and white and things <laughs> Um, I, I wasn't very careful about the scale so um, you know the, the blackbird shouldn't be as big as the seagull for example but and then up here I've written all kinds of I've imagined they're all queuing up queuing up in our garden because sometimes they do they queue along the fence they seem to be waiting, a waiting their turn um, at the bird table so yes yeah, so I've put some signs there so if they were in a kind of bird supermarket waiting in a queue <laughs> That's all the signs. Okay, so I did that. Then um, I traced all those images onto tracing paper and transferred them to this this paper, which was what we actually got in the box. Mm. And I rearranged them slightly so that I'm oh. sort of uh, justifying the reason that the seagull is a little bit too small by putting him in the background. So I've just outlined them in pencil. I'm, on this second version, version so I've put all the little hats and uh, like the, the pigeon has got a, one of those hats with ear flaps and um, a polonet jumper and a nice comfy pair of slippers. <laughs> <laughs> they always look like they've got little fluffy trousers and comfy slippers on to me. The little robin has got a, got a cowl on a bobble hat and this is the, the sparrow with a kind of little sparrow balaclava. The blue tit's got a berry. If it had colours, it would be it would be a blueberry. You know, but uh, this is the blackbird, a starling with earmuffs and a scarf, a seagull. I wanted him to look a bit nautical. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, ink in all of these outlines. The great thing about these pens, where's the bit where I practiced? The great thing about these pens is how well they blend together. That was just a quick go and they also go over the top of each other really well the micron pen actually will go over the top of these as well and they will go over to the, to the top of the micron pen I believe so um, I'm going to outline everything with the micron pen first and then start adding some colour so I will speed through this and um, come back and see you when I'm ready for the next stage
this is really really disappointing because I spent ages doing those drawings and I was I was happy with the drawings at that stage but this is just not working I can't look at it anymore <laughs> kept trying <laughs> I kept going for quite a long time um, and that just wasn't coming right so you can't win them all um, not even sure if I will um, take the time to edit this and put it together but if I do and you're watching this thanks very much for sticking with me I will give it another go tomorrow do you know what I think it is I feel very limited by these colours so I'm not even sure I will give it another go I think I've done as much as I want to with this one <laughs> well on the February box let's see and let's see what that brings I do still love these pens they are lovely to use I just need a bit more scope disappointing I'm gonna to have to go and find something else to do now to take my mind off it because uh, it brings you down when something doesn't work out thanks for watching see you again soon bye